James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today, September 22nd, 2023, 4 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, Earth's electromagnetic field is getting some sort of stimulus. It looks like we're getting spikes up to maybe over 200, 300 hertz. It started before 1400 UTC time. It's been on and off. These small disturbances in our electromagnetic field usually means the Schumann resonance is very active. Let's take a look. And what do you know? This is how you know we're not being hit constantly by space weather. I will show you what I mean shortly, but remember, the Schumann resonance never went over 37 hertz until 2017. It's been steadily rising ever since. Now we've had readings of over 200 hertz. Here we see substantial spiking from 1400 through about 1700 and that seems to die off uh, what we have here is our geophones getting hit pretty hard here for two one hour time periods and then intermittent spiking here none of these spikes look like they went off the chart but they sure were heavy Schumann resonance spiking on our six day comparison that's more up to date here you can see the activity starting again right as the model ends here these are off the chart but the chart here ends at only 50 hertz no activity yesterday lots of activity caused by lightning on the 20th let's take a look at the amplitudes on this and see if we can figure out what is going on all right we see lots of activity even at 4 utc time today we saw spiking then it looks like again around 10.30 UTC time and from then on intermittent spiking, heavy spiking around 1600 UTC time and 1400 UTC time. It looks like it's subsiding on these amplitude models. We're getting geophone data, ULF noise data, ELF noise data, and SR2 frequency data. CERN has been turned on. It looks like they're still injecting into it. No experiment ongoing. No terabytes of power whatsoever up here. So I don't think that this is going to be an agitator. I don't think that this is ever the agitator. Heading over to Windy to check on lightning above the modeling station. And it looks like that's exactly what we have. Lots of lightning storms surrounding our modeling station. It's located in this part of Italy here. We'll zoom in and take a look. Nothing is on it right now, but you can see the lightning popping that just went over the modeling station. The modeling station is going to be right there. As you pan out, you can see that these storms just passed over. And this storm, even in the vicinity, is probably causing spiking. The question is, is why have the Schumann resonance spikes went from under 37 hertz to over 200 hertz? It's because our magnetosphere and our cavity of our magnetosphere has collapsed significantly over the last six years, probably due to the pole shift, the magnetic pole shift that is. Here we see that our BZ or our magnetic shoes are in the south, i.e. negative which leaves us very susceptible to heavy Schumann resonance spiking. If we're hit with heavy space weather, these actual shields move to the north and you will see no Schumann resonance spiking ever. When we don't have anything peppering our atmosphere, our shields seem to collapse. And when they do, even something as small as lightning being the agitator, can cause the Schumann resonance to spike up over 200 hertz now. This is because it's bouncing off, i.e. it, the power of the lightning is bouncing off the D region, the lowest region of our atmosphere, rebounding to the geophones, the ELF, ULF sensors, and they're catching a much stronger signal than if it were to move through the lowest D region and into the E and F region as it usually does. It being the lightning, the agitator. I hope that made sense.
I will say this, you can never show me a day where we have heavy space weather hitting our electromagnetic shields and then we have heavy Schumann resonance spiking. It doesn't exist. I've been looking for 6 to 12 months. So this has got to be blamed on our agitator bouncing off that D region, the lowest level of our atmosphere, back to those geophones and ELF and ULF sensors. It's exactly what this is. After I did determine what was going on, I found several research papers that covered just those facts. God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible in Bizarro World.